Andy, first of all, welcome to North City. How excited are you to be appointed as the new head coach of the women's team? Yeah, delighted. Delighted to be here. Um, looking around the facilities, meeting of some of the players and the staff um, has been has been brilliant. And everybody at the club's welcomed me from, you know, Ben, Flo, obviously, and and yeah, the the staff behind um, behind the team has been it's been fantastic. And yeah, I can't can't wait to get going in July and, and get get working um, in pre season. So yeah, excited to to get going. You mentioned there the facilities and the chats you've had with Flo and Ben. What kind of vision do you have, and are you in the right environment now that you think you can implement that for the team? Absolutely. You know the the thing for myself um, as a coach was I wanted to to work with a a place and in an environment where I can shape and help model something that that is going to progress long term and that's going to you know challenge me, but challenge a, a town, a city, and a town like Norwich and, and a club like Norwich. And when I came and met with Flo and came to the the uh, the training ground here, it's 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 as good as anywhere in the country, and I think it's a secret that you guys have all been keeping over here in Norfolk because the, the facilities here are unbelievable. You've had a couple of successful years with Newcastle and before that Nottingham Forest. Why is now the right time for you to move on from there? Uh, like I said, for me, it's the ambition I have as a as a head coach. You know, I want to lead a team and and you know work in a in an environment where you know everyone can flourish and we can make sure that we're we're pushing on and what we've got here at Norwich in terms of the infrastructure, the staff in, the players um, and the club itself is, is a fantastic place, you know, new head coach for the men, myself coming in and everything at the moment is, is going in one direction and yeah, it's uh, there's going to be a lot of hard work, um, there's going to be a lot of stuff that needs to, to work on the field and, and on the training pitch to get to that point but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited to, to put into practice what I've learned over the previous five, six years. Can you give us a little bit of insight into how an Andy Cook team looks, plays? It's one where, you know, we've got to fight and battle for every ball. You know, we've got to make sure that that's the first and foremost we earn the right to play. And, and that's something that um, people listening that if uh, they've played for us previously and, and anyone that knows us, that will be the first thing that comes out of my mouth every session and every game. If we don't earn the right, there's no point. It doesn't matter who we're playing. So that's the first and foremost everyone will see coming to watch us. Um, and then after that, if we're in a right place and we've done that, we can then start to play football. And, and for me, it's important we get the ball down and play and, and we're fluid in, in our shape, in and our possession. But we want to be aggressive out of it. Um, we want to be nice and calm and composed in it. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be an exciting time, an exciting thing for, for the fans to come and watch and uh, hopefully uh, an environment that the players can thrive in and enjoy every moment they're, they're with us. It's the first time ever this role has been made full time. Does it bring added pressure? Does that make it more exciting for you? Um, I don't think it's more exciting. When I joined Nottingham Forest, it was a, the exact same process. You know, it was the first time they had a, a full-time head coach for the women's side. So for me, it's nothing new. Um, it's it's something that I've done and, and done relatively successfully in terms of winning the league there with with Nottingham Forest in the National League North, um, and then moving to Newcastle. It was the first time the women's team was completely full-time working in the day um, in an environment where you had 35, 40 members of players and staff all full-time for the first time. So. For me, it's nothing new, and, and I believe the experience I've got in that is going to help Norwich and help the city and help the football club grow. And, and, and I believe that that's matched with the passion and the enthusiasm that, that Flo and, and the club have um, for, for what they want to do with, with this football club. And we want to obviously work through the leagues and, and, and work um, to a high enough, high enough place and, and within the, the, the higher leagues as we can. But we need to make sure that we focus on what we can do in pre season first, and that's where. It all starts, you know, when it starts from July, we get the balls out, we start playing um, and it goes back to the, the previous answer. We've got to get the ball down and play and earn the right. And that's, you know, starts with me. But for me, it's exciting. It's it's really exciting to be here and the challenge, but um, it's nothing new for myself. It's something I've been through and, and I'm excited to, to help help Norwich and help the players um, on this journey. Last season was a little bit mixed in terms of the end result for the team. You went to the final day unbeaten in the league but again missed out on promotion finishing second to Wimbledon there were a lot of highs is that a very good foundation for you to start with yeah absolutely you know looking at the looking at some of the games looking at the fixtures and the results that, that happened last season um, it's something that you know the players will have learned a lot from and speaking to them they are full of enthusiasm and excitement and and grit and determination to make sure that they're, they're in the right place come the end of the season but they know from speaking to me that it, it's, it's going to start in pre-season. Last season doesn't matter anymore. It's a new league, a few new teams in as well and some very good um, players, and coaches and, and, and teams will be working against us. 
um, and we've got to we've got to show them the respect that they deserve. But for me, what the club did last season and what the players did last season was excellent. You know, looking at um, almost an unbeaten season, one defeat, and, and the, the the draws and the results that the victories they had was fantastic. But Wimbledon, very good side. Um, I played against them previously, so I knew that they were quality. And yeah, they, they, they managed to, to, to get promoted last season. But now it's our turn to, to make sure we're in the right place. And, and like I said, it starts in July and starts in pre-season when we get the ball rolling. There have been a lot of big steps made for Norwich City women's team over the past couple of years, most notably the, the games at Carroll Road, which had massive audiences. How have you learned in your previous roles in terms of the off-field side of the game? And what do you think that you can bring to that side here? Again, uh, one of the players asked the same sort of question in terms of you know what, what's uh, what's gonna what's gonna be the difference maker. Um, and for me, it's it's having that experience of playing in St James's Park in front of thirty thousand was was fantastic. And the the fans up there are, are unbelievable. You know, I, I've I'm from the northeast, but I'm not a, I'm not a Newcastle fan. And until I started working there, I didn't realise how big it was. And, and playing in front of those fans was fantastic. And I know. Carroll Road, we had seven and a bit thousand, I think, here, um, and it's something that, that when we play a game, we'd, we'd love to see the fans fill Carroll Road as much as they can and, and get behind the players, because for me, it's 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 the fact that there's no such thing as pressure, you know, pressure for car tyres, so we need to make sure that we're just there playing a game of football, it doesn't matter whether it's at the Nest or at Carroll Road, there's still four white lines that you have to keep the ball within, and you've got to score at one of the goals and keep it out the other doesn't matter what the stadium is or what the pitch is so we just need to make sure we're playing and we're in the um, the right frame of mind it's relaxed it's comfortable and everyone's enjoying what the what they're doing and what the work is and and that's what we got to start working on like I say from July in pre-season if we can get that and we can earn the right then we'll be good to go um, but it's it's always exciting to play at the the home stadium of a club and, and especially a, a really historic stadium like Carroll Road I'm, I'm excited to, to, to work there and play there personally for you it involves a relocation as well how comfortable are you with that kind of thing and is it just something that's part and parcel of the game yeah exactly um it is that you know you know when you go into these this 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 role in this industry as as many people do that yeah relocation is going to happen and it happens all the time and and yeah i've worked around the country um whether it's newcastle previously oxford nottingham and, and now here at, at norwich it's it's just something that you have to do and and ultimately you do you don't you, you choose the people you work for, right? And, and everyone that I've met here at Norwich has been fantastic. And, and speaking to the players, speaking to the staff and, and just seeing the environment here, it's fantastic. So I can't wait to get going. And the fact that, that I have to move to Norfolk, it's, it's, it's something I'm really excited about. And, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, heard that there's a lot of good things around here and some of the places that, that I've never really visited before. Like um, I'm, I'm excited to, to, to visit the area and see what, see what Norfolk has to offer. So yeah, it will be uh, good and exciting. Lastly, if you had a chance now to give a message to the supporters of the Norwich City women's team, what would that be? It would be to come and show your support as much as you can week in, week out. You know, the, the girls will love it when there's um, thousands of fans coming to watch us, whether it be at Carrot Road or down at the Nest. And, you know, we're going to do everything we can to put on a show every time we go and play. And we're representing the club and the city as, um, as proudly as, as everybody wants. And uh, I think if we can do that on the field, the support showing off it, It'll be a, a recipe for uh, success this season.